Welcome to my Balloon Twisting for Beginners series, where I teach you how to twist balloons like a pro. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks in Derbyshire in the UK. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a palm tree. And as part of this design, I'm going to be showing you how to spiral balloons together. For this design, you're going to need three 260 balloons. Two in green, I'm using lime green, and a brown one, I'm using both brown. Using your hand pump, inflate the brown one fully. So as we get to the tip, we need to keep an eye on that tip so we don't over inflate. And then I'm just going to soften this balloon slightly, just letting a little bit of air out. I put a twist in the balloon and then I tie. Okay, if you need to revisit the tying technique, go to lesson one where I go into some detail and show you a close up of how to tie. Okay, so we need to put our balloon tips together, the ends of the balloons together, and go to the bottom here. As with most things uh, with balloon art, there's more than one way uh, to, to do this. But what I like to do, or what I like to do in the beginning, was I like to put a twist here. So you don't actually have to do that, but when I was learning, I found it very helpful to do that. You split your balloon in half, and what you need to do is just wrap the balloons round one another. And you're endeavouring to create quite a tight Spiral. So I'm just using my fingers to push the balloon through my hands, okay? And when I get to the top here, I just grasp the top of the two balloons and twist off two small bubbles, okay? And so you've got a nice tight spiral there. For some designs, you may want to pass the bubble just underneath and um, between those two um, those two balloons to lock everything in position. But for this design, we, we don't need to do that. And by doing that, you can um, make the spiral less tight. So for this design, I like to leave it as it is. Next, take one of your 260s and we want to inflate this to just a two finger tail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we've got a tail of, mine's just slightly longer than two fingers. I'm going to let a little bit of air out, just to soften, and then I'm going to tie my usual way. And first of all, I want to make a loop that is about four to five inches long, and then make another loop that is a little bit longer. Okay, and then we just want to twist those two together and take your knot and nozzle and pass that through. Okay, and then we want to make another bubble like this. So give your balloon a bit of a squeeze. And what you're doing, your job as a balloon twister is to manage the air within the balloons. So you need to be attentive to how your balloons are feeling. If your balloons are starting to feel like they're bulging slightly, then you've got too much air in that part of the balloon and you just need to squeeze it slightly and send the, the air down towards the end where you've got a little bit of room. So the idea is that we're moving the air through the balloon and starting to fill up this tip. So this is our room for expansion, or our expansion chamber if you like. Um, so if your balloon's feeling a little bit full, just give, it, just give it a little squeeze and it will send some of the air down here. So we make another bubble to match this one. And if it's not exactly the same size, don't worry. You know, this is a tree, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be uh, exactly uh, the same size and then make another bubble to match this one. So as close as you can in size to the, um, the first one. And then twist off the bubble, twist that off. 
So we've got two sections to our palm tree now. And we can take this bubble and just pass it through. And that's just going to lock everything in position. And we want to make another one of these. And inflate with seven strokes of the hand pump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, just let um, a little bit of air to soften and tie. Okay, and then we're using this as our template, so we want a bubble to match this one. So measure it as close as you can do, and then twist off a bubble. And then you want to make another bubble to match this one. So let's see, how does that look? Match the two up, it's close enough. And twist those together. Pass that knot and nozzle through as we did before so it doesn't come undone. And then we want to make another bubble to match this one. So twist that. And then make another loop, close as you can to that one, and then twist that, okay? And you can take that bubble through, just locks everything in place. And then we can take these two sections, and at the centres, we can just put the centres together, and then twist some of those... Uh, loops and bubbles together, okay, and that's just going to bring everything together Okay, so we've combined the two so this is one of those instances where you've not used all your balloon So what I like to do is make my balloon nice and soft And then I'm just going to use my scissors to cut here and this is one of those instances where you've not used all your balloon. So you may want to put that to one side and keep it in a sealed bag along with your other bits of, of scrap and the ends of balloons because we do have designs where we can use these and provided we've stored them in an airtight container out of direct sunlight, then we can just use the ends. So it's quite handy to hang on to them, okay? And then, do the same thing on this side. Uh, you may want to uh, use a, a cutter, a quick cutter. If you've got one of those and just discard that and put it to one side. Okay. And then you can take these two ends and just tie them together. Okay. So that's what we've got. That's the top of our palm tree. Take the trunk of your palm tree and take those two bubbles and just wrap them into the center of the leaves. Okay. And then move everything around so that the leaves are pointing downwards. So we've got this kind of downwards shape. I like to take the bubble with the smooth top and just move that to the top of the palm tree and then the other one I leave at the back. So I have a front and a back usually to this design. So there you have a balloon palm tree. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future balloon twisting lessons. And I'll see you again in the next lesson.